This is a quick demonstration on how to set the mid date and time on selected sessions within MPO Canopus version 10.4. This becomes important if you're going to submit your light curve data to the MPC's asteroid light curve database because one of the checks that the database program does is to see if there is already an existing light curve block with the exact same session date and time along with some other information. If you have multiple sessions in a night, for example, some people split uh, a night into two sessions because they have a German equatorial mount and so they have a session before and after the meridian flip and both of those sessions have the exact same date and time, then only the first session will be uploaded to the database and the second session will be rejected because it fails the test. So anyway, here's the quick way to do it. Uh, in photometry session, you would open up the sessions form and say select a particular asteroid. In this case, we'll do this one at the very last one. And then you would click the little button underneath mid time. This presents an asteroid lookup and you must make sure that uh, the asteroid you select here is the one that's also for the session. Then the select sessions form appears and you'll select all of the sessions for which you want to set the mid date and time. Click to OK and it just takes a couple uh, split seconds and all of them are set. And to confirm that, what you can do is when you click on the table on an asteroid, you can do Control Shift F. This filters the sessions form so that you see only the sessions for the selected asteroid. And here you can quickly see that the times and dates are unique for all of the sessions. From here, you can now do the ALCDEF report and be sure that all of the sessions will get uploaded.